Hello everyone, it's Jacqueline April and um, I wanted to do this video. I was supposed to do this video before the IKEA one came out, but obviously didn't get it done. Uh, just apologizing to everyone for being absent. I think it was two months I was absent. Um, and that was not really, well, I had my classes that I went to so um, I really had to focus on those. I had told my video editor that um, I was gonna take a break. That was in like, October. And I told him because I needed to, um, or maybe it was November, I needed to focus on my classes because I had a bunch of pre-class work that was due and I knew I was gonna have post-class work. So, um, we had a lot of stuff due before uh, we even went to our classes. And so I just needed to focus on that plus the holidays. Um, it was really, it was really a tough time for me uh, just trying to get everything done. I had to actually stop writing one of my papers so that I could do, uh, you know, Christmas and all of that. It was just, it was very much like a marathon. <laughs> Uh, type thing and um, but I had some things come up um, in my personal life so even after I got back from my classes and I was like ready to start the videos again I had these things come up in my personal life that are I mean I would call them I would call it um, extreme trials let's just say that uh, I'm just not I, I don't want to talk about what it is, you know, specifically, but just extreme life trial um, that I'm in right now. And I'm going to have to make some decisions, um, you know, about my life. And so that has really precluded me from doing, you know, doing the videos and stuff, the Bible studies. Um, so I don't know what the outcome is going to be, you know, obviously with uh, you know, the outcome of, of all of this. Um, I may not know that for some time. So I, I have told my editor now that I want to, um, do one video a week and one short a week because he's really good at doing shorts and he's really good at editing the videos. So I had told him, let me do um, an apology video where I get on and tell everybody, you know, why I've been absent and everything and then, and then do the Ikea one. But I, I, I missed that chance. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So the Ikea, um, and I apologize for that too. I didn't do the haul. <laughs> I said I was going to do the haul for the Ikea, but then, um, I guess I forgot to do it. I don't know. Um, let's see. So what did I buy? I bought this little lumbar pillow that I love because when I sit on the couch, like I'm short. So my, I don't know. I always have like um, a space between in my middle back. So that lumbar pillow really helps. It's like, it's kind of like a little moon shape. It's just really cute little pillow. Um, I bought the laptop stand, which I used right away to write my last paper. Um, and I love it because I can sit on the couch or sit anywhere and just, and it's tilts so that it's just, I, I really love that laptop stand. I bought, um, did I buy a springform plant or pan? I think I did. Like, like I'm baking cakes now. I, I don't know. <laughs> And then I bought this little kit for, for, for frosting cakes, like, because you never know when you're going to need to like frost a cake, right? I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, so I don't even know where I put that. It's somewhere. Uh, I haven't baked cake in quite a while. I don't know why I thought I needed to do that. Maybe, well, no, the holidays were kind of already past. I, I, I think it's because I gave my other decorating kit to a friend's mom. So I thought I needed one, <laughs> whatever. I bought a salad spinner because I used to have one. And this one I like because it's a little bit smaller. The other ones are really big to store. Um, I did buy that one knife. 
um, but I had already bought some other knives recently. So now I have like, yeah, my husband's like, why do we have all these knives? And I'm like, I don't, I, I don't know. I got on a knife kick, what can I say? That doesn't sound very good, does it? Um, so, cause I wasn't sure one to keep the knife block that I had. So I bought these other ones and bought this thing to put in the drawer. And now I don't know if I like those. I, I, I cannot find the right, the right one. Um, I think that's about all I bought. I think I might've bought a few other things from there, but, um, that was the first time I've ever been to Ikea. So it was really interesting to, um, see what it's all about. I see, I hear people talking about it all the time. Um, I wasn't too hip on the furniture. So I, I think it's more a place where you go for like little gadgets and things like that. Okay, so back to why I um, am doing this video. So yes, I did go to my classes. Um, I didn't do the daily update on my classes like I did last year because it was just, it was really different. Um, our first class ended up being straight lectures from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It was really intense. It was, it was crazy. Um, but we only had three days of that. So our professor decided since it was around New Year's, um, so we didn't, we didn't meet on that Monday. So we, we were supposed to meet Tuesday, went Tuesday through Saturday. And, um, then the professor said, well, since you guys are mostly pastors and stuff, I don't think you want to meet on Saturday. So why don't we do a zoom meeting to make up for Saturday? I'll let you guys off on Saturday. Then he decided he's going to let us off on Friday and Friday, uh, because we had these presentations. So he's going to let us off to work on the presentations. So it ended up being three days of straight lecturing. And I actually do have a video um, where I read those notes. Um, that was on mostly, it was theology, but it was also um, philosophy and politics. It was a, just kind of a mix of everything. Um, maybe I'll put add that video to this one. And then, um, the second week was a very laid back professor um, and we didn't really have lecture. That was mostly like group projects and stuff like that. And then we would only, we would only have class from like nine to noon and then she would let us off the rest of the day to work on our final project. So we had these, we had an hour long presentation that we had to do that at the end of that class. So I didn't really have a whole lot of notes to read from there. So, but you'll see it in the video. So yes, I did the classes. I got, um, still got okay grades, even though I was going through this whole thing. Um, so what I want to do on this video is um, give you some tools for going through, you know, trials because God doesn't tell us that we won't go through trials. He tells us that we, he will be with us in the trials. So that's kind of the message I want to convey here. Um, even though like sometimes we can just be blindsided, this was something that would just kind of blindsided me and was totally unexpected and totally unprepared for and don't know really how to handle it. So I'm kind of still in that and asking for God's guidance, trying to, you know, pray and seek him and figure out which way is the best to go. Um, and so, so let's see, one of the scriptures I pulled up was Deuteronomy 31, six. Let me find it here. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And then Psalm, let's see, 56.3. 
What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do to me. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. Is that what I was writing down? Oh, I went, okay. Yeah, three is just what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Um, so yes, yeah, so God um, says he'll be with us in the valley of the shadow of death. That's, you know, Psalm 23. He'll be with us in the trials. He'll be with us in the deep waters. I mean, there's so many scriptures that you can find to do that. But I also wanted to give you all some, I don't know if I'll give you some tools, but I'm in the description, I'm going to put some songs. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to call that my trials playlist. So these are things, songs that I've been listening to recently that are helping me um, because I want to have a godly perspective and godly help um, through this. So the songs that I'm going to link are, and if there's a video, I will put the video down there so you can just click on it and see them all. Um, let's see. So my trials playlist right now, so it can change. You know, I've had different songs that have helped me through different stages of my life. So I'm gonna put um, Lauren Daigle, Thank God I Do. That's one of her newest songs and it was a hit that she has. And the video that I have is her um, on the, not the Today Show, what's the other one? Kelly, Kelly and Mark show where she sings on there, but she's won Dove Awards, etc. And um, this song really speaks to me. I've seen her in person a couple times. She came to Enid when we lived there. She came to one of the churches there before she got so famous. She came and did um, and, and 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 did like a little concert at the at the church. And so I I saw her at that. And then I also saw her, she opened up for Hillsong, when Hillsong, um, I, I mean, I'm sure on their whole tour, but I saw it here in Oklahoma City. Um, that was one of my favorite concerts I've ever gone to is, is, is that Hillsong. It was just amazing. And she, op Lauren Daigle opened for them. And um, so I've seen her, you know, saw her live then. And that Hillsong um, concert was one of my one of my um, memories of feeling God's presence. Um, I think I did a video on that, but that was one of the times where I really felt strongly. Uh, it was just a peace and a presence, and um, it was it was a certain uh, CD. It was a certain tour that they were doing. I can't remember the name of the tour, but all the songs, like they, they just all speak to you. And then there's this, they had had the piano like out in the audience. So there's like part of the stage goes into the audience and there's a piano at the end. And they would come out, they just came out there and, and were doing the piano and everybody was singing, um, you know, probably Amazing Grace or something like that. It was one of those times where I felt like the peace of God so amazing. And that's, I went alone because no one wants to go with me when I go to things like this. And so I remember I went to that alone. I've gone to a lot of things alone that, I, um, that I'm interested in that other people may be not interested in. Um, so that was one of those things. Okay, so then I'm gonna do Fall on Me, which is Need to Breathe. And they have someone else that sings collaboration with them. So in the video, it's more like a father-daughter thing, but I'm taking it as, you know, okay, Lord, I can fall on you, so fall on me. Then I'm then we have um, Danny Goki Stay Strong. That's the third one I'm gonna post. Um, Danny Goki was on uh, American Idol years and years ago, and he used to be a youth pastor. He's now turned singer, and he's won all kinds of Dove Awards also, and has had a lot of really good songs. And he's married to a Latin American. I, I used to follow her on Instagram, um, so so he's he's really good. But this Stay Strong is really good, so it's like... No matter what trials come, no matter what comes my way, I'm going to stay strong. My faith is going to stay strong. And and it's like, 
you know, a lot of people when they go through trials and, and it, if it's something that's really, really rough and severe, um, it can derail their faith. And so it's like, so we only want to go through, you know, small trials or little trials. We don't really want to weather the storm of the large trials. And what that, what this song is saying is that you can, that your faith can remain strong because we're living in this earth where we know that evil is present. We know that the enemy is always trying to destroy us. We know, especially someone like me that has dedicated their life to, to God's service. Um, the enemy is always going to try to derail me, do things, weird things, and try to get me off track by by using people around me and that's happened you know my whole life but um it's still a shock when things um come up that you weren't expecting so so stay strong and then um i had some other ones i was gonna put but i don't want to put too many so the other one that speaks to me a lot right now is crowns down um who sings that I can't remember. I had it pulled up here. It is gateway worship. So um, it's telling God that you're going to lay your crowns down at his feet. So it's like whatever crowns that we get in this life, whatever, whatever prizes, whatever um, accolades that we receive from doing God's work in this life, that's a crown that we're going to have when we get to heaven. And we're going to lay those crowns at his feet and say, look, this was the service that I did for you. This was, this was service to you. This was sacrifice for you. And this was suffering for you. And ironically, my last paper that I wrote, I was going to print it and show it, but it's like 18 pages and it is on suffering for Christ. So... <laughs> It's like, okay, yeah, I, I want to suffer for Christ, but not really through the big things, just through the little things. Do I, you know, do I really want to suffer for Christ? And it's like, okay, I just wrote this paper on suffering for Christ. And so it's like, well, I need to practice what I preach. If I really want to do this, um, then I really need to practice it, you know, and Put it into action not just write it as a paper and let it sound good you know but i i want it to live my life that way there used to be a song uh, on the radio called life song uh, this was years ago maybe a decade ago um that you want your life to be a song for god it's like it's like your life is a song it's a life song and um and you want to stay steady and you want to be able to stay steady and also finish well and that's, you know, my goal in life. So, so I've got two bonus songs for you on here that are not necessarily Christian, but that speak to me also. I mean, there's a lot of songs that speak to me, but I'm just doing this for my playlist. So the first bonus song is, it's called Both Sides Now, and it's sung by a father-daughter duo, uh, Matt and Savannah Shaw. They started singing on YouTube and then they just took off and blew up and now they're this huge, you know, they, they do concerts and stuff now. It's just precious when you hear the song. It's like I've, I've looked at life by, through both sides now and like I don't really understand it. You know, life, love, all the things, I thought I understood them, but now when I see them from both sides, maybe I didn't really understand them. It's just a really pretty song. The last one is called Love in the Dark, um, which is an Adele song, Love in the Dark, which is an amazing song, but there's this um, uh, brother-sister duo from Chile, and their names are Carla and Kevin Vasquez, and I love all of their stuff. I stumbled across them one day, because I, I, do, I do listen to some um, uh, Spanish, music um like pa pablo alboran like he's one of my favorites he's from spain um his oh gosh he's just all romantic type music kind of ballads because i i like ballads but this duo they they do covers so they'll take whatever song in english and they'll translate into spanish and then they'll sing it and so 
This is Kevin Vasquez singing Love in the Dark in Spanish. It's incredible. These two have incredible voices. I love all their stuff. And so um, we'll just put that there for you. So, so God will be with you in the trials. He doesn't promise to take you out of the trial or he doesn't promise. He does promise that he will keep trials away from you if you keep your life um, um, you know protected enough and not no open doors to the enemy but if someone in your life opens doors to the enemy then that can bring a trial in that shouldn't be there that's a whole nother study but um but if you do have to go through one god will god will be in it with you and this life can bring us so many trials. I could just, you know, things you could never, never think of, you know, you might have to go through. So, um, and then on a side note, here's my gratitude journal for 2024. Um, I had mentioned that I was going to um, do a gratitude journal. I hadn't really gotten to it yet, but I, I was organizing some of my books yesterday and there it was and I'm like yes I need to start writing in my gratitude journal so as soon as I start doing that I will I will post that but anyway um thanks for listening guys thanks for being patient and hopefully I'll get back to my weekly videos and weekly shorts um hopefully next week talk to you later see you in the next video